Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a first impression on the Kaylin O brush. Now, if you guys have heard of this, it is like the Artiz brush. I don't know if I'm late on this, but I just got it. And as you guys know, I made a video on what I got at iMats in my haul. This video is probably going to go before that. But I did buy this brush at the show and I wanted to try it out just because, first of all, the artist, bu artist brush is really expensive. It's like $50, $60, but also because they have this at the show and I wanted to try it out. All I know about this is that it is basically like their Artiz brush. It's supposed to blend out your foundation flawlessly and it's supposed to work with any kind of foundation. You just like brush it on and it just like happens. So I'm going to be doing a first impression on this thing, this brush. And the foundation I'm going to be using is my NARS Luca foundation. And yeah, we're going to get started on that. And I am gonna start with the primer just because I always put on foundation with the primer. It's just something that I always do. So what I'm going to be using is my Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. And I'm going to brush this on, or brush it on, dot it on my face first. I'll dot it on my face for the first half of it. And then I'll also, I'm also gonna use my beauty blender for the other half just to see how that works. So here we go. I'm sure you can uh, apply it with the brush on like that, but this is just the way that I do it. I mean, I guess I can just like dot it on. Now we're going to try it out. I feel like this is really fun just because it's kind of like a hairbrush and it's just like a full. It's just like brushing it on and it's also, I feel like this is a really fun way to do it. You know so far as I can see it's not leaving like any marks or anything under or on my foundation it's actually doing it pretty quickly if I could I could just like do this in like a couple minutes and I would have everything blended out I'm gonna apply a little bit more to my face Probably don't need to use this much for one side, but I'm just going to brush that on. I actually think it did a really good job in blending out my foundation. I just looked at it like really close up and it's like no streaks or anything. I really like it. I would have expected to see like some brush marks, but I do not see any and I really like that. And it applied it on really fast. So I do like that as well. Now I'm going to apply this foundation with my Morphe Beauty Blender, and yeah. And I'm just going to use that to blend everything out. So there is Beauty Blender. I usually love how the finish of this is. I do feel like this one had more coverage to it just because I feel like the brush didn't really soak anything up. And like, it's just common for a sponge to like soak up at least some and blend it out. So I mean, I have no problem with it. But this I feel like had more coverage. Now I am going to apply my concealer. I will do it with this and then this side with the Beauty Blender and we'll see how that goes. For my concealer, I'm just going to use my Tarte Shape Shape Concealer in Light Sand. And there we go. Do the side first. I just personally think that the Beauty Blender can just like would be better for a concealer, but let's just see. I'm gonna use my blender for this because 
the thing is around my mouth I get dry and I do not like to have brushes or like to breathe in it and I'm just going to use my booty bender for the rest of this stuff <laughs> I will say that my right side, or what you see in my right might be your left, but it does seem like there is more full coverage there. I'm going to put on the rest of my face makeup so you guys can see my first impression and closing statements about the O brush by Kaylin. Okay guys, I'm back. I just uh, I only put on lashes and I just did like lip gloss and like all that kind of stuff. but. On my final impressions on this brush, I do really like it. I do, I feel like I do recommend getting this if you haven't tried the Artiste brush, but I haven't tried it, but I feel like this would be a pretty close version to what it would be like. And it also doesn't cost so much. I feel like it's $35, $40 dollars around there. Maybe $25 if you get like a discount. But it is a lot less expensive than the Artiste brush. So I do recommend getting this if you're like on the fence and you don't know if this would be like a good dupe for the Artiste brush, but I feel like it is. I do recommend getting this. It's in the Kaylin Lope site, Kaylin Cosmetics. If you do want to get it, then you know, it'd be fun. But yeah, I do recommend this product. It just blends out foundation super well. It gives you a really nice, not too matte, but like full coverage look. And I really do like it. So if you guys want to try this out, I do recommend it. I do recommend getting it. Um, but anyways, that is it for the video. Um, that's my first impression. And comment down below if you want me to do any new first impressions. I might do one on the new Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. Because I just got that. So if you guys want me to do that, be down below. But anyways, that's it. And tune in to my next video, which will be a festival makeup tutorial. And comment down below any makeup tutorials you want to see in the next couple weeks. And yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for watching and bye.